Your co-creator of nextlevelguitar.com. Hope all's going well, and I hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. And today I have a little lesson for you on, you know, how to take some arpeggios and make them sound a little bit different. The whole thing here is it's all about the sounds and it's all about developing your own style. I, mean, I kind of want to get you thinking about different things and trying something different, right? Uh, in a previous lesson, I did a lesson where I showed you some scale navigation, and I'll put that lesson in the cards. Actually, it's more fretboard vision and navigation where I showed you how to connect three scale shapes and three arpeggios. We're going to use a couple of the arpeggios from that lesson, and that's a nice lesson to learn because it's, it's kind of getting you to think of the guitar more along the lines of one big opportunity, one big connected scale than these like individual boxes. And it just gives you more of a command of the fretboard, no matter what key you're in. All an arpeggio is, is the notes of a chord played separately. Arpeggios are things that could really dress up your soloing because you're spacing the notes out a little bit more. They sound great when played over the corresponding chord or corresponding matching chord because you're targeting the notes in those chords, right? So you're playing all the strong notes, you know, the roots, the flat thirds if it's minor, the fifths, you know, the major thirds if it's major, the flat sevens if it's minor, flat sevens or, or flat seven if it's dominant. So you're playing those strong chord tones, which are the notes that make up the chord over the corresponding chords. So, you know, you make really strong solo statements and they sound really awesome. And we want to take that arpeggio and do musical things with it. And you wouldn't want to play that arpeggio right from the front all the way down, all the way back. Same thing like you just wouldn't play a scale like that, right? It'll sound a little stiff. You want a kind of good arpeggio playing mixes up your arpeggio notes with licks and scale notes, right? Kind of throws it all into the soup. Mix it up like gumbo. So before we get rocking with this lesson, if you could do me a favor, please subscribe to the channel. You know, subscribing to the channel, that really helps us. It really helps us to keep bringing the content. Leave a comment below. Let us know how you like this lesson. Let us know what lessons you'd like to see coming up or what gear you'd like to see reviewed. Please share this video if you know someone else who you think might like it. And if you like it, um, click the like button, give it a thumbs up, and we so appreciate your support. And like I always say, you know, it's really the chords that are going to give you the complete roadmap to the soloing and improvisational avenues. You know, the key is only a small part of it. You really have to analyze the chords. And in this instance, I'm playing over a jam track that I got from Dope's Jam Tracks. I really like their jam tracks. There's a lot of fun ones there. You can go to Bandcamp. I'll put the link here and you could check out some of their jam tracks. So this is kind of like an A minor hard rock thing. So the chords are basically, goes from this A to an F, and then the second time it goes from that F to the G. And that's basically the main rhythm of the song, A, F, and G. So you're gonna be using A minor pentatonic and blues if you want to solo over, that relates to all. Um, and you can also use A natural minor scales, sound great. That, the, that mode, Aeolian mode, relates to all. So those are some great choices, a lot of ammunition in there that you could use for soloing. We're gonna stay in A minor. That's what the last lesson I did with those connection devices um, was in. That lesson I showed you how to connect like a minor seventh and a minor arpeggio, minor nine, and how to use that and connect it to natural minor. So we're going to use a little piece of that. Here's the arpeggio I want to focus on today. It's this A minor. I'm playing it in the key of A minor. It's movable. The root is with your pinky on the A string. So at the 12th fret, that's A. So if we play the shape A, C, E, root, flat, third, fifth, A, 
C, E, root flat third fifth, right? Minor arpeggio. Which is root flat third fifth. Make sure you try to get that under your fingers. The other arpeggio that we'll, we'll do this with, this device with, will be this one here. And that's an A minor 7th arpeggio where we're adding, we're still playing A, C, E, but then we add the G, the flat 7, right? And that makes it an A minor 7th. A, C, E, G, A, C, E, G. That's an A minor 7th. Root, flat 3rd, 5th, flat 7. So you want to get those down. And then a little connecting exercise you could do. Play that arpeggio descending. Then when you get up to the A string with your pinky, slide that to go to the one, uh, the A minor arpeggio. So it sounds like this. Slow, slide. Then when you get up to there, 12th fret. That's just a little exercise to kind of help you see, right, those connections. We have to make it musical because remember, you know, technique on its own is not musical or melodic, right? It's taking your notes and doing things with them. You, and even playing minor arpeggios up and down the neck. Like I've seen tons and tons of exercises, right? We all know them. We've all seen them. Playing them up and down the neck and up and down the neck. And that's good to see where you're at for sure. But you're not going to be doing that really in a song or in a lead, right? Because it's going to sound too stiff. It's not melodic. You have to kind of do some things uh, mix up, like I was talking about before, mix up those notes, right, with scale notes and licks. And if you'd like a really great reference book that'll help you along in your guitar journey, click on that link below. I can help with that because I put together a rock blues soloing ebook where I diagram out like 29 scales. It's nice sometimes to see them on paper as you're working through the video lessons. Kind of makes that connection. You see all the root notes I diagram out and it's packed with soloing strategies and other lessons, minor, major key. Um, I'll send you that in a free video lesson, how you could really dress up your playing with some simple devices and techniques. I'll send you both, video lesson and ebook for free. Just click on that link below. So here's something to keep in mind. I love the way these arpeggios sound descending, right? So let's look at that. And in the intro, when I was playing over the track, I did this kind of a thing. So I was descending down the arpeggio, but I was doing it in a little four note motif. So what I'm doing here is I'm pulling off from the 12th to the 8th fret. So I'm pulling off from that E to the C, then playing the A, but then I go up to the E note, 9th fret on the uh, G string. Aha! And that's what gives it its character there is I went to another note in the scale. I went to the B note, which is the ninth. And I love going to that B. We're in the key of A, so the second note in that scale is the second. When you play it up high, you add seven. That makes it the ninth. And it really gives that arpeggio some character, right? It's a little color. So I think what I did when I was uh, in the jam, I was kind of going... Then I went to it, and then I played this lick. Right? I'll play the lick slow. Notice I stopped again here on the ninth of B. And I closed the lick out on the root note A. From that B into A natural minor here. Pull off here. And that's a cool little thing. And you see how you could play it kind of choppy and staccato-y? And it adds even more character. Let me give you the picking I use there. I use down for the pull off. And then two ups. Down, up, up, down, up, up. Because that second, I almost sweep that second note. So just try to get that and do it slow and it'll come in time. And then because I have an upstroke, I go down, kind of alternate pick that B note. See, we're mixing the arpeggio up, adding the ninth. 
slide going into natural minor scale. More slides. And by the way, for this lesson, I turned off the delay. I turned the gain down than when I was playing the intro for instructional purposes. So you remember this guy, the minor seventh arpeggio? We'll play it descending. Get that under your fingers. So let's just play these notes. Okay? You can just do, a, do it like that descending where you're pulling off 15 to 12. Again with a down stroke and up, up. And again, if you want to end on that B with the first finger. Down, up, up. Down, up, up, down. So that's a nice minor seven going to that B. You can also do it this way. There's a little A minor triad right there. Remember it's in this. A natural minor scale, that triad lives right in there. And that's our, you know, we have our A note, our C, and our E. So a cool kind of lick using that triad, something like this. So what I'm doing there is I'm sweeping down the triad. Then I'm playing the minor seven, I get that G note, and I pull it off. So down, 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 pull off. Actually, I do an up on the G string, on the uh, G note. Down, 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 up, pull off. But then I also, the second time, I'll grab that 17th fret, that's our A note, our root, and I'll pull 17 to 12. You gotta stretch a little bit. And then, um, so that one is. So if you put them together and alternate them, I'll do it slow. Sounds better kind of when you sweep them and play them faster. Maybe you can end on that A note. Or you can go back to the B. So you see there's all kinds of goodness, right? All kinds of guitar goodness. Guitar goodies, right? Right living within that natural minor scale, within that triad, minor seven arpeggio, over here your minor arpeggio, that connects to this minor, uh, a natural minor scale like I showed you in the previous lesson, right? So all these things will start jumping out at you and you could start putting your own twists and turns on them, adding different notes, throwing in those half step bends, right? From that diatonic natural minor scale. Um, and, you know, just really coming up with something uniquely you, right? And that's what this is all about, um, kind of doing different things to kind of develop your own style. That's the words I was looking for. Remember, subscribe to the channel. That's really important and it helps to keep bringing the content. Like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it. And, um, oh yeah, don't forget, get that free ebook. It's a great reference book that you'll use throughout your guitar journey. I'll send you that in a free video lesson. Just click on that link below, send them to you for free. Thank you so much for tuning in over the years and years. We so appreciate it. We're gonna keep bringing the best possible content. Keep chipping away on it. Have fun with that guitar, right? And remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. I will see you in the next lesson.